All right, shallow one. This is Brother my young coming into the TMS Tampa Bay. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Wadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. Much blessing and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth who are diligently pushing out this truth and its truth and sincerity. All right, and uh, Spirit had me uh, listen to one of the videos from uh, Possible Bar earlier this morning. And uh, kind of, kind of uh, spurred the spirit uh, to want to do this lesson, and um, so I'm just gonna get right to it. And uh, Lord willing, you brothers are edified through the spirit of Yahweh Shem uh, So I'm just gonna start here at Job chapter 20, and um, I'm gonna start at four. The point is a little bit further down, but uh, I want to get, I'm, I want to just, you know, get this to uh, to make the point of who this is speaking of. All right, and this is. Uh, and for those of you that have ears to hear and you know eyes to see, you will understand who this is talking about. All right, this is Job chapter 20 and verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? All right, and who's that wicked? Who is the who is the the, the wicked that's ruling this earth right now? All right, let me get this real quick to see to show you who this wicked is um, it's a lock here wrong chapter it's a lock alright got it this is uh, Malachi chapter 1 and I want to just read verse 4 and get to the point all right, because this is this is this is who the wicked is talking about. All right, this is Malachi chapter one verse four says, "Whereas Edom, all right, who was Edom? That was Esau. All right, Esau, Esau was given the name Edom. All right, when he read when he ate of that red of that pottage. All right, that 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 meat. All right, that red meat. All right, because the word Edom. All right, Adam or Salaki. Um, uh, dang, I forgot exactly what it is in the. Hebrew is escaping my mind right now. Let me let me get it. All right, this is Malachi one and four. That word there for Edom means red. All right, and in the Hebrew, it's um Adam. Let me see. Red, kind of Adam. All right, and that's mean. That means red. All right. So this is talking about the the the, the red Hebrew Edomite. All right, the so-called white man. All right, that's who Edom is. All right, that's the wicked that's spoken of in in, in uh, Job chapter 20. All right, so it says, Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. All right, thus saith the Howl of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they and they shall call them the border of wickedness. All right, so wherever these Edomites are, they're the beginning. All right, they're the starting line of, of wickedness. All right, they're the, they're the wicked. Okay, like when you're crossing state, state lines all right when you're crossing state lines you go from georgia to florida and when you get to that border all right that's when you get to the to the next state all right well that's what that's what esau represents as far as wickedness goes all right when you when you when you enter into these devil's presence all right you're entering into wickedness okay and that's why i wanted to do this lesson because as you'll see all right as we'll see here in job these damn devils, they, they, they're, they're just nothing but just wicked devils, man. You know, and they're not to be trusted. All right. As we'll get into. All right. This is Job chapter 20, back and forth. It says, knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the time that of Esau's reign, all right, it, it, it is real short. All right. Compared to the, to the everlasting kingdom that we're going to have. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All right, Lord willing, we are those members of the elect, you brothers that are listening with truth and, and truth and sincerity. All right, it says, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. All right, and that's who who the Lord uh, sent us out to, man, to a hypocritical nation. All right, and that's that's plain and, and clear as day as who the, who that hypocritical nation is, man. It's here in America. All right, the the ruled by these um, these elite. Uh, What's it called? These Edomites. All right. The elites, which are all Edomites. Okay. 
and it says through verse 6 though his excellency excellency mounts up to the heavens and his head reach into the clouds because why the so-called white man esau edom all right he's placed himself above up above everybody else all right he exalted himself as the most high as the scriptures say all right matter of fact let me get this in obadiah real quick all right this is obadiah and i'm just going to read verse one real quick and the vision of obadiah thus saith the lord power concerning edom all right and i'm going to stop there because this this the this is the subject of of this whole chapter of obadiah all right so this is verse three now jumping down down to verse three obadiah one verse three says the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground all right so you see another indicator that this job chapter 20 is talking about these edomites all right the red hebrew edomites the so-called white man all right verse six though his excellently excellency salakia mounts up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds yet he shall perish forever all right and what did we read in um we read in malachi chapter one all right verse four all right they said that they shall well let me let's let's get it again matter of fact i got it in the other app let's get it all right let's read because it's let's read this again in job 20 it says though his excellent excellency mounts up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds yet he will he shall perish forever like his own dung all right so let's read this again malachi 1 and 4 whereas edom saith we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places all right thus saith the lord power of hosts of armies they shall build what i will throw down you see so what though his excellency so though he build himself up to this to this uh status of ruling the entire planet earth all right because pursuing the job 9 and 24 i don't i'm not gonna get it all right you can get it on yourself if you don't if you don't know it but according to job 9 and 24 the earth has been given unto the hands of the wicked all right and through through esau being the earth being given unto him all right he's he's uh, mounted himself up on this high uh, a pedestal and the lord is going to bring him down it says that's why at verse 7 it says yet he shall perish forever all right like his own dung all right and when you read the book of obadiah you see that that's gonna, that's what's going to happen all right and that has not happened all right for those of you that believe that the so-called the, the the edomites all right that they've been done away with man show me a point show me the point in history when that happened then if, the, if it's so supposed to have already occurred all right but it says yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he you see and that's what the that's what the the israelites and all these other nations all right are going to be saying in the kingdom of heaven after after a thousand years of servitude these devils are going to get destroyed they're going to be eliminated off the face of the earth all right and people are going to wonder where is he where was where is this guy edom that supposedly had had the dominion over over everybody who had the dominion over the the israelites over the elect where is this guy at you know we, we don't see him because why because he's going to be destroyed man all right and that's a, that's another point you know that's another point to to my lesson is how why are you gonna these these edomites are not to be trusted man they're they're gonna be destroyed and they know it these edomites know they're gonna be destroyed man these you don't think these elites that they read the scriptures you don't think they know what's what's coming all right why do you think they're trying to fight so hard to, uh, to stop prophecy coming up with a space program and all this and that man you can't trust these guys man they know they're gonna be destroyed you don't think they're gonna just try to um do whatever they can to to try to uh upset prophecy to try to make it and no matter who gets in their way just point point blank they got their own people in slavery all right but let me keep on it's verse eight it says he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found yea he shall be chased away as a vision of the night you see so uh, these these edomites are going to be as a dream in the night man like a vision all right when you sleep you wake up few minutes after you wake up you you start to forget bits and pieces of your dream to the point to where you don't even you you might not even remember what you the, the dream you had was about all right that's how these edomites are going to be man okay verse 9 it says the eye also which saw him shall see him no more neither shall his place be any more any more behold him all right verse 10 his children shall seek all right and this is the point his children all right the children of who the edomites all right and we're living in those days where his children are living 
all right his children shall seek to please the poor and his hands shall restore their goods and who are those poor all right let's get it well let me get the most obvious one all right because the, as we're gonna find out these edomites they they're gonna it don't matter whether they try to help you out or not man these devils are still gonna be destroyed man all right they're still gonna do wickedness okay this is revelation chapter 2 and verse uh 9 it says i know thy works and this is well let me see if i can i'll start at verse 7 revelation 2 and 7 it says he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches what churches all right the churches of the israelites man the different the different camps that were out out and about man all right the the the, the israelites okay says this what the spirit saith unto the churches to him that overcometh will i give to eat of the bread of life which is the midst of the paradise let me just go ahead and skip on down all right so we know that this is talking up to the israelites all right to the churches okay verse 9 i know thy works and tribulation and poverty but thou art rich all right so you see the israelites are the poor man the israelites are the poor okay so going back to this job 20 all right because this is the point of, of my lesson job 20 and 10 let me read it again it says his children shall seek to please the poor and his hands shall restore their goods man and these devils no matter how much they try to help you out these devils are always looking to strike a uh, uh, stab you in the back man all right that's one thing that you israelites you so-called negroes latinos and native americans need to get across your 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 your, your noggin man you need to realize wake up and smell smell the uh the lamb chops man these devils all right just because they come at you and they helping you out or they might they might like it says here shall seek to please the good just because they're pleasing you doesn't mean that they're gonna make it man these damn devils are gonna get put to death regardless of what you think and or how how much good they think they do man because they're not let, let's get this All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 23. It says, Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. All right. And so can the Edomite do good who's accustomed to do evil? All right, the Edomites, the wicked, the, the border of wickedness. Can they do good? No, man. No. Then let me read that again. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? Can the Ethiopian take, can an Ethiopian man, and we know how dark Ethiopians are, you know, they come all in different shades, but they're they're pretty dark skinned nation, all right, the Ethiopians, which they're Hamites. All right, can they change their skin? No, man, they can't. Can a, can a leopard change his spots? Can a leopard say, you know what, I don't want my spots no more. I'm just going to uh, shade this off, and I'm going to have just a, a one coat of, uh, of this tan color that I have. Can a leopard do that? No, man. So then what? Can, then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil? So can these Edomites, are they going to be actually doing good unto you? And it, while their their whole life, their whole generations, their whole nation is all accustomed to doing e wicked, man? Just look at the 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 um the track record of the so-called white race, man. All right? They've done nothing but murder you, you... You simple ass Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. They've done nothing but rob your people, man. All right? It's just like the Apostle Bard said in that video, man. All right? You had that Black Wall Street out there in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right? That was the worst. That was the, uh, you know, you, when you go looking into the, do some research into it, man. That was one of the worst massacres that happened in America, man. Esau went up in there. All right? With a lame ass excuse. Okay? And went in there and slaughtered a bunch of you so-called Negroes, man. Out there in Black Wall Street, man. Burned all your businesses down. Destroyed everything you Negroes had, including you. Including the people, man. You think these devils, they really doing, doing, uh, trying to make you happy, man? You think they're trying to include you in, in life now, man? These devils want to see you dead, man. Okay, these devils, you can't trust these devils, man just because they come up to you and they 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 all nice they might you know they might help you out and whatever hey man the scriptures there and then there ain't nothing wrong 
with it. There ain't nothing wrong with with it, uh, hex, accepting the help if they're doing it. The scriptures say, "Use the world, but not abuse it." But are, am I gonna am I gonna trust a devil man? God forbid. This is Sirach chapter twelve, verse ten. Never trust thine enemy, for like as for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. And who are the who's the main enemy of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American man, the Israelites, the so-called white man Esau, Edom. Okay. The twin brother of Jacob, who was the father of the Israelites. Esau was the father of the Edomites, the so-called white race, man. That's our number one enemy, okay? And never, never trust thine enemy, man. The scriptures say this. This is, this is coming out of the mouth of the Lord, man. Never trust thine enemy. Because you get a lot of these jakes. That's why the scriptures say a gift destroyeth the heart, man. Because you get all the you you Esau comes at you and he comes and helps you out and makes you feel good and makes you feel included in society now. Okay? But this damn devil wants to see you burn, man. Okay? Matter of fact, that's how he came over here and he took the land uh, of America, man. He came over here and he, he beguiled uh Gad, man. Came over here with blankets and all this and that, but what happened? He gave he gave all he gave the Gadites, man, diseases, man. He gave him diseases. Let me let me get this uh, one scripture. Let me can't remember exactly the chapter. All right. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter fifty-five and uh, twenty-one. All right. It says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. All right. And that's how these that's how these devils always have come come at you, man. Oh man, you know what? Oh, I see that you need some help or something. You know, you need any money or something, you know. Your next door neighbor, you know, he might he might be an Edomite, he come out and try to help you out. You know, but what? They come at you with these smooth words, just like Esau did when he came over here to the Americas, all right, and he overtook our people. Okay? He overtook our people with these smooth words, man. It says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart, man. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords, man. You see? Just because these Edomites come at you with this this, this Mr. Nice Guy uh, uh, tactics, man, doesn't mean that these guys are, 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 are nice, man. These people are accustomed to doing wickedness, man. They're the border of wickedness. Like I said, like, I, like the Spirit had me say earlier in the video, man. You know, the, you can't... You, you, whenever you come in the presence of an Edomite, man, you're coming into the presence of wickedness, man. Anywhere you see Edomites, there, there's wickedness, man. Edomites are always talking about some gay ass shit. All right, they're always trying to plot on, on Jake because they hate to see Jake succeed. All right, especially at the job place, man. You, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You, you gotta, you gotta be circumspect at the job place, man. Cause these damn Edomites, man, they hate to see a nigga prospering, man. They hate to see a nigga making it. All right, they'll do. They'll they'll try to. They'll they'll be on your ass, man. All right, matter of fact, let me get this. All right, because this is the spirit of these damn devils, man. All right, and we call them devils because the word devil goes back to the uh, Latin word diablos, and it means. A uh, deceiver, a slanderer, okay, because that's what these Edomites are, man. They're deceivers. They play cool, they play nice, but deep down in their hearts, they want to see you dead, man. This is First Peter's chapter five and verse eight. It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil." And let let me get this word vigilant there, okay? Let's get that word vigilant. All right. It says from Middle French, vigilant, or directly from Latin, vigilantem, watchful, careful, anxious, to watch, keep awake. You see? So we're to, to be watchful of these damn devils, man. It says be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, and who are our adversary? All right? These devils. It said the devil, and it, clear, it clearly states to you who it is. All right? Who's the number one devil in the planet Earth? These damn devil these the salakia these damn edomites man the so-called white man it says be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour and that's what the, that's what the, is in the heart of these damn devils man that's why in psalms 55 
21 and said his words were smoother than butter, man. All right, because he one, he's a devil, so he's gonna deceive. He's gonna try to deceive you to make it look like he's 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 uh, he's trying to come at you nice and help you out. But what deep down in his heart, he is war, man. He's seeking to devour you, man. He's seeking to destroy you, you, you Israelites out there, man. Just look around you, man. You're living in the ghettos. You, 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 you got liquor stores on each corner, man. And who do you think is, is allowing those liquor stores to be set up on the corners of, of all the ghettos, man? It's, it's these Edomites, man. They'll give, they'll give grants to these, to these Edom, Elamites, man. They'll give grants to these Moabites to set up shops. To set up corner shops and, and liquor stores and quickie marks, marts, and, and where Jake is all scattered throughout, man, to destroy you people, man. It's Esau who's 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 setting, uh, giving them the money to set up shop, man. These devils don't want to be your friend. They never will be your friend. For you niggas out there who think that you got you got white friends, man. These devils hate you people, man. They hate your, you, you, you simple-ass Negroes, man. That's why the Most High is going to have a lot of you Israelites destroyed, man. Because you, you, you're too simple, man. Okay? And, hey, man, that's, that's basically it, man. You know, it is. I just wanted to make the point, man, to not trust these devils, man. Because, let me get this back in joke, man. Just because they're helping you out or they're making you, like I said, here, let's, let's, let me get it real quick. All right, uh, Job 20 and 10, it says, His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods, man. You see? So it says they shall seek to please the poor. He's going to make you feel trying to please you. He's going to come at you and try to say, Oh, look, I got some health benefits. I got Medicaid for everybody. I got I got this and that. You know, we're lowering percentages of taxes. We got uh, this. Man, come on, man. We, we You see, the men of the Lord, we see through, right through you damn devils, man. We see the bullshit that you're doing. All right, but with that, Lord willing, you brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash, double honor to the elders, apostles, great millstone, and much blessing and salutations to Yahweh, around the four corners of the earth. Oh, and you, you see, that it's the spirit because uh, I sent a, a video to the brothers today, man. You can just you see, you see the spirit that these devils are in, all right, out on the streets, man. They hate you, niggas, man. All right, every time they see a nigga hanging around uh, outside of an apartment complex, man, they, they're ready to draw swords on you, man. Even if you do live there, man, they ain't going to trust you, man. So why should you trust them? All right, these devils don't trust you niggas, all right? All right? These devils don't trust you, man. These so The so-called white man does not trust you niggas, so why the hell are you trusting them, man? It goes to show you how stupid you two-thirds two -thirds are out here, man, in Babylon, man.